hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, how to convert the mp4 video to images using uh, python and we will be using uh, OpenCV library for this which is very much popular if you just search here by OpenCV library you will need, uh, see here OpenCV is a very popular library uh, which is used to for any purposes uh, related to media such as camera audio processing so we will be using this package OpenCV-Python to convert the video into individual images so we will be extracting all the images which are present inside the mp4 video so let's suppose let me show you a very basic example so this is my video here guys you can see video.mp4 and basically all these frames of this video is converted to the jpg image you can see that if i scroll down all the video frames are being successfully converted into jpg images so you can see that 1200 frames are there it totally depends upon the video length it's if the video is large then the images will, will be also large in size you can see that each frame in the video is converted to an individual image as you all know the illusion of uh, the images is uh, the video uh, so we convert the images into series of animations so that it our eyes get an illusion of a video in reality video is not there we are we are just eluting a series of images and then we are converting into a video so we will be doing the reversal process in this video we will be extracting all the frames and be converting into uh, images if you just run this script guys uh, if you see here if i python app.py so basically what it will do is that you will see that it will extract all the frames here you can see that and it will create a data folder and uh, then it will be basically uh, populating all the images so it is just creating this you can see that so we will be doing this process guys so after that it will create this data folder you can see that so let me just open this in file explorer and delete all these images you can take any video of your choice guys in order to extract the frames so let's start building the python script guys so i have given this python script in the video description so if you want to get all the source code you can just go to the description of this video and you can go to the description of this live stream to get all the source code so let's write this python script guys so first of all hit the like button subscribe the channel and for this guys you need to install the python opencv library pip install opencv dash python so just this you need to install this library guys for uh, this package so after installing it we can write this python script so first of all what we need to do is that we need to import the opencv library cv2 and then we also need the operating system module after that guys we will be uh, reading the input file which is cv.2 dot video capture this is the method guys by which we will be taking the input video so the path needs to be same it is there the video is there in the same directory you will see that video.mp4 you can take any extension of the video avi mov this is not restricted to only mp4 so after taking this input video guys we will now uh, surround this code inside a try catch block and here we will say if not operating system path dot exist and here we will pass the data folder so basically guys it is just telling that if the data folder is not created by the user and if the user is executing the script then automatically this, this data folder will be created at the time of execution of the script so, so basically if it is not created then we will create the folder by using make directories and then we will make this data folder and basically now we will accept and uh, if any sort of extra, uh, exception take place then we can simply print that uh, error create creating directory so basically if, if any sort of exception take place in in creating the folder then we can simply print out after that guys we will create a variable which will be having the store the current frame it will be zero it will be starting from the zeroth frame to the end of the video frame and now guys we will run the while loop so basically this while loop will run infinite number of times 
this condition is this will run infinite number of times until the condition is met read return frame and here we will use it we will read each frame of the video you can see that we have captured the video inside this cam variable and now we are reading each frame of the video and storing it inside this frame and ret variable and here we will check guys if ret if current frame is available then we will convert this to an image and we will store it inside the data folder frame and then we will concatenate we will convert this into string and the current frame and then either you can uh, save it as a png file or jpg file guys so i will store it as dot jpg and then we can simply print out the current frame which is converted to image so creating plus name that's it so after that guys we need to write this we need to store it so we will use this im write method we will store the name alongside with the frame of the video that's it and we will increment the current frame by 1 so plus is equal to 1 that's it and now we have the else condition guys if all the frames are processed then we will break out of this loop that's it this is a simple logic guys so if all the frames are met then we will simply break out of this while loop so after that guys we will release all the resources that we have cam dot release we will release it and we will destroy this window destroy all windows that's it so this is all that you need to do guys in this python script in order to extract all the frames and save it as images so now we can run this file here so basically if i delete this folder so what will happen guys if i run this file here python app.py so now guys you will see that it will create these frames so automatically these frames will be created and uh, just wait it all it all depends upon the video length guys if the video is larger if the video is 10 minutes longer then the frames will also be in uh, lakhs 10000 20000 frames as you know that each frame is a little portion of the video so it all depends upon the video length so it this video contains i think uh, 120 seconds so it will contain 1200 frames so each second comprises i think 5 to 10 frames so you can see that it contains 1200 images so you can see that so once it is completed guys it will create the data folder and it will store all these images you will see automatically all these images are being created so you can see that this is the actual video file which is created uh, we have converted to individual images so if i show you the video here this is actual video mp4 video you can see that it has converted to you can see that so each frame is it has taken guys you will see that you can see that you guys so in this way guys you can convert individual videos to images inside python open cv library if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video